Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor and it is time for a Kickstarter review. Is this is this a thing? Is this a thing that I'm going to be doing going forth? I don't know. But somebody brought to my attention this brand new Kickstarter that looks like it's actually focused on me. This is a 3D printer that I have been wanting to see in the wild for a while and here it is. Holy smokes. So let's check it out and find out if maybe it's a little bit too good to be true. So this is the Kickstarter. It is called the Kid Doodle Mini Box A1 3D printer. And just for fun, just like I've done in the past, I'm going to really quickly pull up the video and we're going to go over their marketing material and see how it compares. So to begin with, they're showing us, you know, a dad helping a, a daughter build a 3D printer. What, what 3D printer is that? I feel like I've seen this 3D printer before. Uh, the one with the vertical arms that are holding it up. Is that a Nep Elgu Neptune or something like that? But oh, it's it's so difficult to put. This 3D printer is not difficult to put together at all. But they're, they're playing it up because this is a And it's ready to go out of the box. Now, I do want to rewind just a little bit and look at those cute tiny little spools of filament as long as they're not charging like half price for a quarter size spool of filament as long as they're keeping the prices reasonable i'm down with this i've talked about this in the past oftentimes when you buy filament you buy a kilogram and you got to go through a kilogram and it takes you months and months and sometimes it sits on your shelf for years and just yeah a smaller spool especially on a smaller 3d printer i'm okay with however I do think if I had this 3D printer, one of the first things I would do would be to make it so it can print with kilogram spools because I have a lot of those, but we'll see. And hopefully those aren't chipped. I, I'm guessing they're not. I'm guessing they're just standard filament. Wouldn't that be tricksy if they, they made it like a an unstandard diameter or something like that? But nevertheless, okay, so cute mini rolls. I'm down with it. They've got an app, and you push the app with one button. It's like... It's like the Toy Box 3D printer in that you've got an app and you can choose what you want to print from the app. So we'll have to take a look at that app in just a little bit. Now, I will say, though, uh, none of what I'm seeing so far is unreasonable. It's not like they're showing full color 3D prints coming off of this thing. It's not like they're showing anything that couldn't be done with the 3D printer that we're seeing in front of us here. Um, they are talking about the fact that, you know, it pauses when you open up the door to keep the kids' fingers safe. I'm not 3D printing this size. I'm not sure. That head is huge. It feels like there's a, there's a lot of space in there. But here they're showing problem solving. And you know what? This is a reasonable problem to solve. Now, what they didn't show, let's let's go back to some of these specs here, but what they didn't show is how the kid does the modeling. Do they have some kind of modeling software to do, or do they just assume that, you know, you use Tinkercad, which is a reasonable way to solve this problem. All right, let's talk about these bullet points here. Designed for child safety, like we said, when you open the door, it stops printing so that kids won't get their fingers caught in a very small enclosed 3D printer. Honestly, you'd have to go out of your way to hurt yourself, but I appreciate the effort. Uh, it's simple, easy to print, ready to go out of the box. Yes, it's fully assembled, and I like that. And, and it's a small 3D printer, so shipping is not going to be that much for it. As fast as 600 millimeters per second. So that means... That this is a next gen 3d printer that it's running clipper or something like that now in order to get these high speeds you need to have like well i mean fairly long it doesn't have to be too long sections where the the acceleration can ramp up and i'm with tiny prints that doesn't happen very often that said i'm i'm excited that it's a next gen 3d printer even though the form factor is small i'm excited about that and uh unlock minds with STEM, which, okay, it's, it's just, yes, it's STEM related. I, yeah, I love how they throw that bullet point in there. It doesn't mean anything, but there we go. But look at this. It's got a huge, it's, it's practically got a phone slapped on it where you can choose settings. And it looks like, it looks to me, uh, I didn't see it 
in this one, but it looks to me from other promotional materials on here that you can choose a print from the screen. Now, I don't know if that's the case, but for the most part, it's a next-gen 3D printer with an app where you just pick and go with what you want to 3D print. Um, honestly, this 3D printer looks amazing. And how much are they asking for it? So available rewards, filament combo, I don't care about that. Um, early bird price is about $180, so about $200 for a mini 3D printer that is this easy to use. Shoot, I'm almost ready to just pledge on this sucker right now. That is absolutely fantastic. And there's nothing obviously false in their advertising. They are promising things that a 3D printer of this size should be able to deliver. They're not even showing prints that this printer couldn't do. Honestly, right now, at this moment, this printer looks really good, but... Maybe if we dive into the Kid Doodle company a little bit, we can find a little bit of dirt to dig up on these people. Fortunately, they've already got a website up and going. And I'll be honest, it's a good looking website. They've, uh, th this isn't like, oh, we're, we're starting our first. They, they are advertising themselves as we're a new 3D printer company focusing on this machine. And, you know, we, we're just figuring this all out. And yet look at the professionalism of this website. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And if we dig into this a little bit, go into the, uh, FAQ or about Kid Doodle and stuff like that. Actually, there we go. They've got information about their slicer. Shoot. You can actually, uh, you can actually, oh, it's, it's with the 3D printer. But if we go into about Kid Doodle and they, you, you dig into it a little bit, it turns out they're not as new as they're pretending they are. Turns out that it's Sunlu. It's basically a branch of the Sunlu company. Sunlu has been making 3D printers for a while. Sunlu Sun knows what they're doing. Most of Sunlu's 3D printers are not great. I'll be honest. Uh, they, I, I haven't had a lot of super good experiences with... Well, I, Sunlu Filament. Everybody uses Sunlu Filament. But, you know, so they, they've been in it a little bit. But they've kicked off this branch of their company... To do these child 3d printers so are they really a new company you know on the tier of like things to complain about on on the list of things to like shake your finger at in anger uh, a new company spinning off a new department and calling or, or uh, uh, an old company spinning off a new department and calling it a new company it's really not actually that big a deal honestly i'm kind of I kind of don't have anything to complain about yes okay they're a Sunlu company but I don't care because that means that they actually know what they're doing a little bit they're they're not completely brand new you're not going to get stuck by somebody who doesn't know what they're doing so honestly I can't find any dirt here to pick on either holy smokes <sighs> dang it's actually looking pretty good, but oh, you know what? There is one thing. They have an app, and I'll bet you that app is just jam-packed full of models that they've scraped off of Thingiverse and are using without attribution. And you know what? They made their app available. I requested it, and they, they let me install it on my phone. So let's, let's take a look at that app right now. Let me just pull that up. This is the Kid Doodle app. Here are the, the files that you can check out. Let's just scroll through these. Let's see how long it's going to take us to find one that very obviously, you know, they don't have attribution for. All of these show that they are made by Kid Doodle, and I don't uh, actually recognize any of these models. That gorilla is kind of weird. That you, you, you think that this space shuttle, like, would be familiar, but... No, I've I've never seen this before. Huh. Okay. Uh ooh, whose wizard is that? Who made that wizard? Actually, I don't I don't recognize the wizard either. What in the blue blazes is happening? I am going through this app looking over and over again for files. Okay, let's just go into models right here. All models right here. Let's just scroll through it. Um education, puzzle game. 
daily items. Let's go to daily items. That's where a lot of things happen. No, I don't recognize any of these models. Do you? Do any of these models look familiar? That bearing, okay, there are a hundred bearings out there. I don't know. That doesn't look particularly like anyone's bearing. Turkey keychain? I don't recognize these models. It looks to me like they are actually, actually making original models and, and putting it on here. Now, the fact that they're not stealing models from anybody is, first of all, wow, why, how? This is great. This must mean that they are producing these models in-house. They must have an artist who's just cranking these out or multiple artists who are just cranking these out. Now, if we go to Toy Box, they're kind of doing the same thing. They, they do open it up to other people to put them on there. Uh, I'm one of the few designers that are on Toy Box that they, uh, you know, allow to be a part of their premium system as well. So far, Kid Doodle isn't doing that. So far, they have these models. Is that... That might be... Okay, that might be Age Biz's uh, jet model that they've colored differently and at least rendered differently. So at least they're abstracting it a little bit, but I, I can't be sure about that. For the most part... For the most part, it looks like Kid Doodle has their own library. But that means that their library is small, is limited. It's going to be a library of prints that'll get you started, but eventually you're going to want to be able to make your own models or you're going to want to um, download models and put them into their slicer. And it looks like that's possible. That's a thing that we can do. Okay, so they're not promising anything that they couldn't deliver on. Uh, they're They're a company with a little bit of experience in this, but this is a new area for them. And overall, I can't really fault them for their app. It looks to me like this is legitimate. It looks to me like the kid doodle is, well, okay. I won't say it's a safe bet. I won't say that it's a safe investment. I, I need to put this out and I should have put this out at the beginning of the video. Do not uh, spend money on Kickstarter that you are not entirely ready to let go. Like if you can't afford to lose this money and get nothing for it, do not support this Kickstarter. That said, for $200, a 3D printer that does all of this is really good. Now this is, however, like I said, looking at the app, they have a limited library and I really want to see this concept grow. In fact, I would love if the toy box people joined forces with these people and said, here, have our you know, license their library of files for this 3D printer. And all of a sudden they'll have hundreds and hundreds of files. The thing about the toy box 3D printer is, is that their hardware is, in my opinion, old and obsolete, but their library of 3D print files is so fast that you will never run out of things to print. In this case, their library is not very vast, but it is enough to get you started in 3D printing, having a little bit of fun. If they keep this idea going, which I would be thrilled about, um, I think that, that the Kid Doodle honestly could disrupt 3D printing again. And this is what I've been wanting to see in other 3D printers, the ability to just pick a file and go with it. And we've seen them doing that a little bit with Creality Cloud, and we've seen them doing that a little bit with Bamboo Handy, but this is a more streamlined method of doing it. So overall, I, I have to admit that looking at this Kickstarter, from what I could find, from what I could dig into it right now, uh, I'm going to say the, the Kid Doodle 3D printer Kickstarter, if it looks like it's what you want, I say go for it. This, this to me looks more promising than I expected diving into it. So this is one of those rare opportunities where I get to say, 
I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. I'm looking forward to this Kickstarter. So, yeah, thumbs up from the 3D printing professor. Well, that's it for this video. I want to thank you very much for watching. And I want to remind you that you are a child of God. So you're special to me. So take care of yourself. And if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time.